Greetings, hello, hello party people. My name is Belle. Um, you just gotta have that cheesy intro, I guess. Um, party people is from the 80s or something, isn't it? Okay, anyway. Um, greetings to everyone out there in YouTube land. My name is Belle. This is some tarot oracle card wisdom for your day or your week. I'm using two decks of cards, two trios, and then they form pairs as well. So I'm using, if I can find these card boxes, I'm using the Naked Heart Tarot, which is really cool. Here's the cover of that. Naked Heart Tarot for three. And then Vintage Wisdom Oracle for three. And then we're going to look at how they line up against each other too. It's been a good personal development a uh, couple of days for me. I learned about um, setting personal boundaries and being like um, having more balance in my life with my boundaries with other people and it's actually been like pretty cool. It's been like kind of harsh in some ways to have to look at that but um, overall it has been cool. Okay, so let's look at, I keep, I keep forgetting what this one is called. It reminds me of some, the Naked Heart Tarot. For some reason, I want to call it like the symbolic um, tarot or something because I like the imagery it uses. Okay, let's look at the Naked Heart Tarot, card one. I've drawn the cards, drawn the cards, but I have not looked at them yet, so let's see what it is. Two. No way! Two of Swords! People on Instagram have been posting about Two of Swords a lot recently. Two of Swords. I think this is like, do not enter. Do not go that direction. Do not enter. You're getting some type of sign or message or just feedback. You're getting feedback that, um, put it over here so the light is better. Uh, you're getting feedback that you're not supposed to go in a certain direction, and you know that, but it keeps giving you that, something keeps giving you that feedback, that info, so it's time to kind of pay attention to that, something's like, no, 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 and um, that's not always how, how I read that card, a lot of times that card means like defensiveness to me, but in this case, I feel like it means don't go that direction, like return to your original plan, like do something else, you're getting a no on something. Okay, the next card from this tarot deck is the Hanged Man. This is like the perfect reading for today. This is so cool the way it's working out. Okay, the Hanged Man um, depicted as a bat. Um, okay, what does this mean? It means kind of getting a feeling for it. I'm trying to think of how I would describe that feeling. It's kind of like an alternative, like an alternate, um, like an alternate viewpoint, but like it's almost like if there's something parallel, like a parallel timeline to what you're doing right now, it's time to take a look at some other viewpoints, other perspectives, like get a new perspective and really choose what you want to be doing. And it's going to be for your highest good. So with the Two of Swords, something on one path is not that not going to happen. And then this other path, okay, it can happen, but you have to have a new perspective in order to see it or in order to make the most of it. This is really interesting. Okay. Sky Father. Is this the Emperor card? I think this is the Emperor card. Like, cosmic wisdom. This is like being a little bit more mature with how you conceive of the idea of a deity or a god. Like, get a little more creative, be a little bit more open-minded. And there's the archetype you know, of mother and father and all these different ones, but what does that really mean to you personally? How are you going to integrate that into your life path or not? I think 
another thing that comes to mind with this card, more in relation to the other two cards we've already seen, is your sense of what authority means. So what does authority mean to you? And what is within the realm of your personal authority? What is outside of the realm of your authority? It's so interesting. Those cards really go together well. Huh, that's so cool. I love the way this works out. I'm, um, I guess I've been doing cards for a few years now, but I'm still like amazed at how well things work out and kind of the patterns and everything that kind of comes together to make this cool meaning. So interesting. Like I could never have consciously picked this, you know? It's this very nuanced, very palpable, cool thing. So I'm excited about those three cards. Now let's look at the cards I drew from Vintage Wisdom Oracle. Oh wow, it's a celebration card. Okay, so if we look at it with the pair of Two of Swords above it and Celebration, um, it's like, stop being so pessimistic. <laughs> That's a huge message. Don't be pessimistic. If you can help it, just don't be pessimistic. Like, have a celebration. Um, I feel like Oprah, when she's like um, giving everyone the car keys or the presents under their chair. Celebration, celebration, celebration. So, um, like life to a huge extent, maybe not every single thing, but to a huge extent, especially as an adult, life is what you make it. So, just like let go of the pessimism, let go of all of the, all of the things in your life that are definitely not working, and instead take this avenue that's very beautiful towards a sense of celebration. It's really cool. Okay, the second of the oracle cards. Choice. Ooh, this is interesting. Okay, the red reminds me of the root chakra. So something that's very important to your foundation and be, feeling grounded in your life, you need to make a choice about what makes you feel good about feeling secure. What is she holding here? Can't tell. Something shiny. Maybe it's a piece of jewelry. It looks like a pearl, maybe. Hmm. So with that, it's definitely some kind of shiny gift of some kind. So it's like there's a hidden gift as you get in touch with your root chakra and make sure that now as an adult, you're making the choices that you want to make in order to nurture yourself and have that sense of security that makes you feel good about how you're living. And as you get um, into those ideas of what are your conscious conscious choices about all of that, there may be a hidden gift that emerges and, you know, a gift of an insight and something that you can really clarify for yourself. Okay, number three of the oracle, compassion. I, I see this, um, this imagery as being about vulnerability. So I feel like this is having a sense of compassion for yourself and others about when people are being vulnerable. You know, give people some space, give them some extra understanding, and have compassion, even if it's just from a distance. Everyone's vulnerable in different ways, especially we all have our emotional vulnerability. So just... Like, let it be. Not just not let it go, but let it be. And I'm also getting, um, as I'm holding up this card and thinking about it, I'm getting my um, palm chakras activated in kind of like a different kind of way like that. What would that mean? I think as a metaphor, it can be like, what is within your own hands? You know, there's so much outside of the ballpark of what we can control but then we have our own sense of authority that is within our own hands so you know it's good to keep that uh, really clear 
have that um, clarity about how you can do best, how you can thrive, using these things that are just kind of common sense, but maybe we have to go back and make the good choices for ourselves. Okay, so you know what? I was going to finish up, but the thing we haven't done yet is looked at the hanged man with the choice card. What would that be about? Hmm, that one isn't meshing as well. Okay, so we got, we went over two of swords in celebration. We basically went over compassion and sky father because of the hand chakras. So what would root chakra and hanged man mean? Just ignore my phone. Um, root chakra, hanged man. Hmm. I feel like I'm getting a sense of like n something new. Like it doesn't totally go together, I don't think. I think the hanged man goes in the top line with two of swords, hanged man. Uh, emperor more but if I had to say like what's the relationship between root chakra and hanged man right now I would say like having new viewpoints like being open to brand new experiences something from your past may have made you really stuck in your comfort zone and uh, that being stuck in your comfort zone as everyone knows prevents you from having new experiences that you could really benefit from so, as you're getting those new perspectives, keep checking in with yourself and um, have that sense of, I guess, a balance between what you're comfortable with and pushing yourself a little bit at a time in positive ways. This is so cool. I really like this. I'm especially excited, I think, about the three tarot cards because it just had this like really cool feeling to it. But I think we got really good vintage wisdom oracle cards too. So much to think about, so much to contemplate. Thank you for joining me for this daily card reading. I'm really excited to share these things with you. I'm going to hopefully be having even more stuff like meditations and different types of freebies on my website, although like the ideas are just kind of percolating right now, so who knows when that will be, probably in a few weeks. But keep checking my website if you feel like it. It's very fun. It's very colorful. Um, yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. This was great. Hope you... Um, got a few insights to consider and even if you feel like you feel differently about the cards you know i hope you get that bounce back of your opinion and how you feel about your own life path thank you so much i'll see you next time